good morning good morning how are you this morning I'm up and out and it's only 945 woo woo that's a miracle for this girl that's a miracle it's a miracle thing to see I told y'all I had a song for every phrase it's just now that I've gotten old I can't remember the words to them <laughs> How are y'all doing this morning? I'm gonna try to go this way and see if the sun will be a little kinder. But you know, praise God for the sun. I'm like Amy, like a way girl. I gotta have my sun shine. Now she tolerates the 90 and 100 degree heat. I don't. I can't function. I'm really sensitive to heat. But I do like me some sunshine. And praise God, the last few weeks I have been feeling better. Now, I think I had mentioned to y'all that several of you had asked about doing a lesson on fasting, and I'm going to. I'm going to wait till I get off this fast. And, you know, the Bible tells us not to throw a fast around in front of people's face. And, and, and it's talking about going around <clears throat> moping and mourning that, um, that, uh, that you're fasting. But, you know, we're not together personally. So it's not like everywhere I go, I'm telling people I'm on a fast. But I feel like it's a teaching tool for y'all. And, and several of you have asked. For me to do a lesson on fasting and I'm gonna tell you something I've been in church all my life all my life all my life I've never had any gaps in space where I wasn't in church now was I walking where I was supposed to be with the Lord all the time no but I was in church but I have never been a successful faster never really had it presented to me in a way that it's life-changing yeah I have to a certain degree but then to another degree never explained never felt on board like I do with these our new pastors um, they're just motivating and teaching and just showing us you know the power that's in it and I'm gonna tell you there is spiritual power there is awakening power for your spirit uh for your physical man physical person there is power and the reason i'm saying all that this morning uh if you've been following me any length of time you know that this time last year that john and i were doing trim healthy mama and which is basically clean eating it is balancing your insulin and I was doing great on it and I lost 17 pounds and um, around April I just fell off the wagon and the way that I have dealt with things in the past is and let's talk about eating because that's mostly it that's probably one of my biggest struggles I am NOT a food addict I do not binge um, in a day's time I probably don't eat any more than any of the rest of you do I eat the wrong things I crave the wrong things I crave carbohydrates I crave sugar and through this fast we've not had any sugar I mean I might have had you know a little bit here and there in something but we've been doing meats and vegetables and the last week of the fast is a total liquid and um, John has stuck to that 100% I have veered off just a little bit with a salad here and there but mostly it's been like tomato soup uh, smoothies uh, protein drinks that kind of stuff and so like I told you the other day I can't wait we're going to Outback Sunday after church and get a steak <laughs> But I'm not going to gorge because I'm just going to tell you, I'm fixing to get directly in the sun now. I just haven't needed as much. And not only that, I've been spending more quality time with God. And, and like our pastor's wife said, don't just quit eating. If you just quit eating, it's a diet. <laughs> if you are fasting, um, if you're fasting, you're limiting what you eat and praying and spending time with God. So... 
but the reason I say all this again, I'm going to get Mama love so I don't want to make this real long because I want to spend some time with her on here, is that limiting the sugar, my chronic fatigue that I've had so, so, so bad. I take a Celebrex a day and it really helps to keep my fibro pain manageable. I do have some breakthrough pain that comes with it occasionally, but I ran out of Celebrex a couple of weeks ago and I went three days without it, just thinking, ah, oh, it's not that big of a deal. I could barely move. I could barely get in and out of the car. It was so intense. So my pain is more manageable with medication, but there's nothing medically that I can do for the chronic fatigue. Now, two different doctors have prescribed me low dosage of Adderall to see if it would kind of give me a kick. I don't like taking stuff like that. I do not like taking stuff and I have taken it some days and it helps, but I also have some heart issues. So I have to be careful what I take there. Let me tell you, during this fasting period of cutting out sugar and caffeine, my chronic fatigue is probably 50 to 60% better. Praise the Lord. He's teaching me. He's teaching me, and it's a hard lesson, but I have got to stay off the sugar. And I have done... Uh, I've read stuff and I know that sugar is horrible when you have an autoimmune disease. I know that it is. Um, it breeds yeast and yeast works against you with autoimmune disease. There's just so many things and in and, and reading, sugar is America's crack. It is. We, unless you're a totally clean eating person, we're addicted to sugar. And I'm not saying that you can't ever have it again, but what the Lord is teaching me is about moderation. And he's also been speaking to my spirit about this is my temple. And I hate not being able to do the things I want to do. I'm driving to Birmingham today. I'm not so in despair about it because I'm so tired. And I hate getting up in the morning and there's there's literally days that I sleep all day long off and on all day long because my chronic fatigue is so bad and y'all have seen it in my eyes you've seen it several of you have commented your eyes look so tired your eyes look so tired yes they do and I'm not saying that I won't ever have some fatigue again I, I mean in the name of Jesus I pray that I don't I pray that I'm completely delivered from it but in the meantime he has shown me by doing this, Suzanne, you have got to limit what you put in your mouth. You are in control of that. And look, we don't like to discipline ourselves with food. I use food as comfort and that is wrong. I've done that my whole life and that is wrong. And um, he's my comfort. He's my comfort. She's standing in the carport looking for me sweet little thing. Woo! Gonna be 90 in March. Living up here by herself. What a blessing. What a blessing. She's looking at her bird feeders. I have to drive over these uh, roots of this tree. I like to pull straight up to her carport and get her so she doesn't have to step up. She's motioning her hands like I'll be right there. Let me see what she says when she gets in today. Would you like for me to unlock it and let you in? <laughs> I um, set that foot down too quick out there on them toes. It hurt. Boy, that little place on your nose has been bad. Oh, hasn't it's bad it? this morning. It's fixing to pop, do its thing. Oh, it? is it? Go away. It, it, I've been touching it real easy. It'll, oh. it'll dry. It'll dry. And it'll have. And in, out there Don't she, witches have those on the end of their noses? <laughs> Kiss my butt. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had that thing on. I'm just glad you said butt. <laughs> well, um, I believe she's a witch. You've been called one before, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I have. I've been called a lot of times. But I have them all around here. But this one has been really... Yeah, I can just feel it's got like it's got something in it. It'll, it'll, Does it it'll, sore? 
Yeah, a little bit. And the, and That's from the Coumadin, guys, that she takes. We've I, been fighting that ever since she went on Coumadin. I've been getting little knots all over me. She's getting naughty. It could be my backside, not my face. And that, her back, y'all, she has the back of a 30-year-old woman. <laughs> She has the tightest, most beautiful back. Her back is so much prettier than mine. Oh, boy. It is, Mother. I didn't know about nobody's backs. I, I, I just don't feel like I have a pretty back. John has a really smooth, nice back. And I, I feel like John's back's even prettier than mine. Not really. But Mother's back is pretty. I'm telling you, uh, you I mean, it's as tight as a 30-year-old woman. I was supposed to be a movie star. You were. You were supposed to be another Shirley Temple. Yeah, I was. You know, mm -hmm. just about the, we was just about the same age. Yep. I was just wondering if we wanted to go by there and see the baby for just a few minutes. Well, sure. Give them a hug. It's alright with well, me. Okay, because we're early and then we can go I eat don't lunch. I about babies. I like them babies. I certainly do. I like them babies. I never I like them baby. many though. Huh? Well, many. you and Daddy, when y'all got frisky, <laughs> y'all started. Y'all right? started a lot of stuff. I know we did. Look what all y'all have created. I know. Well, what have you done this week? Huh? What have you done this week? What I done? <laughs> yeah. About as little as I can think of. <laughs> have you got that uh, blanket finished? That I got crochet? just a. Is it gonna put together good? I've got it put together except for one end. That's the end. Does I've it seem okay? Says it looks good to me. Okay, good. Good. Uh, I'm thinking There's the police. I hope he doesn't identify you from the post office. Oh my lord, he sees me. I'm a gone. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put a hand up like this. Yeah, cover your face, mother, so he won't recognize oh, you from the post knows office. He probably me already. He probably says, <laughs> that looks like that woman in the post office. <laughs> She was uh, arrested for prostitution just last oh, week. Oh my God! I hate, hate to That's see awful me. to say about your mama. I hate to see myself try to prostitute. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'd be the most me ignorant. too. I'd be the most ignorant one that ever lived. I'm just telling you, I dig ditches first. I would dig ditches. So no. So be like the old man that told me I could live with him after your dad died. <laughs> I told old fella I felt sorry for him because I know. Wanted somebody to live with him, but it sure I knew one thing it wasn't gonna be me. Wasn't gonna be you, was so it, I Mama? Told him, I said, Well, sir, I thank you very kindly, but I have a house of my own, I don't have to live with anybody. Okay, else. I gotta tell y'all funny because mother, mother was 55 when daddy got killed <laughs> and young and beautiful, <laughs> but she never remarried. Daddy's been gone 30, let's see, 33 years. Yes, 33 years. Thirty. This will be the 34th year, but 33 years so far. And uh, she dated some guys. She dated some friends that her and daddy had been friends with. Yeah, like I've their wife had died and, and daddy had died. And um, then there were some that she just dated strictly. Well, most of them were friends. Yeah, I, there might have been a couple of... Were, was it? I'm not going to ask you if there's any romance. It wasn't none of my business. I didn't know any strangers. Everybody I knew. Sure no, I said I was. I wasn't going to ask you if there was any romance. I said because oh, that's none of my business. Place, no, we just looked at each other. Didn't know what to do. Because <laughs> mother, you were young. I mean, I I'm older than that. Of, I was. I was yeah, and you was kind of uh, gun shy too. I was dumb. You too. was kind of burnt. <laughs> I, that's what it was. Yeah, I you was were burnt. burnt. <laughs> you were burnt. So. um but this guy from my church, this older guy, asked her out. And I don't remember how many times you went out with him. We won't say no names. One, one. one time only? Uh, it, yeah, I think we know who it is. He was a nice old man. He was a nice man. But when he brought Mother home that night and walked her to the door, he said, and I quote, Whose church are we going to in the morning, mine or yours? Just like he was gonna be there all night long. I know the sun is playing havoc with this. It's picking up the sun. And my mama looked at him and she said, "You're going to your church, and I'm going to my church. I'm fixing to go in here and work my crossword puzzles." <laughs> oh, now that's what made men love it. <laughs> yeah, mother, that made you. They they were attracted to that crossword puzzle. Can you imagine? That was the only time y'all went out, mother. I said, "Him, I didn't like him." Yeah, but the nerve 
curve. He wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. He was but he is wanting to spend the night with you on the first <laughs> day. I absolutely believe he thought he was. Well, I well of course he did. No His thing. church we go into in the morning. Yours oh, or mine. So he's going to shack up with my mama <laughs> and then go to church the next morning. Oh, man. Now, I know that happens all the time, but it ain't happening here in my community. <laughs> Um, well, no, I take that back. It probably does. Yeah. But it ain't happening to my mama. No, I oh, my mama could handle them, though. <laughs> she t This is the thing. Tell them the reason you never married again, Mother. Now you don't have to refresh. What about your den? I don't she said they didn't nobody oh, ever look right. Oh, yeah, sitting in my den. Sitting in her den. Oh, yeah. Nobody yeah. ever looked right sitting in her den. And they didn't. <laughs> We're going to the ENT today. My nose has been driving me crazy. I know they never noticed me going like this. This is very attractive to her when I did this on video. <laughs> it's not cute. And you, look, this is the smallest thing on my body is my nose. I mean, I got gypped on a nose. I mean, on a profile, you can barely see it. I mean, I don't know what happened. I you, you thought about that. Oh my Lord. <laughs> I mean, all of the rest of y'all have got pretty good noses, and I've got this little pug nose that something, some chromosomes or something just didn't make it all the way out or something. <laughs> your daddy didn't have no pug nose. No, and yours is more round, so it's shaped more like yours, but yours is longer than mine. I mean, look, you've got a witch's thing on your nose today. We're going to go by and see Baby Riggs and Baby Rhett and get some loving off of them. Where are we going? Let's eat at Cracker Barrel today. You want to? Okay. Yonk? Okay. Yonk to? Yonk to? He's flashing his I lights at me. He's flashing his lights at me. Yonk to? Oh, flashing his lights at me too. There's either a wreck or a cop up here. Alright, I'm going to turn it off. Bye. Get along my regular head. What? You getting on my Lego head? I'm getting on your Lego head. Uh huh. I gonna get on your head. No. <laughs> Are you going to Gatlinburg without your Gangan? -gan? No, I'm gonna go at Walmart and get some Scooby Doo. <laughs> Do you love your Scooby Doo? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go get some more. You wanna go get some more? Uh huh. Well, at Walmart. Well, maybe we can later when you get back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get that. This boy been smiling. This boy been smiling. <laughs> Look, is this boy been smiling? <laughs> we just laughed out loud, actually. This boy been smiling. Smiling at his gang gang. I know. I know. Tell, tell Gingin, -ging. huh? I know. Tell, tell me. Listen, listen. Tell me. Tell me. What? I know it. I know it. Tell Gingin. -ging. Hey. Quit looking at the camera. What you gonna tell me? Huh? What? Ooh, you gonna talk to me? Ooh. Huh? You gonna talk to me? Huh? Talk to me. What you doing there today? I'm uh, waiting on food, but it appears. Let me see your new earrings. Oh, they're so cute. My son bought them for me after I made them. <laughs> he told me he took you off and that you stole uh, cornbread when I left here. And then he said she made me buy her a pair of earrings. Well, what do you think I had him for? That is your famous stuff. I'm going to put that on your tombstone. <laughs> what do you think I had you for? <laughs> you got to show me food. <laughs> she had a huge plate of dumplings. Well, look here. I had a salad and a baked potato. I didn't eat the sugar. What'd you say about the dumplings? About loving them? <laughs> if there was a man, I would marry him. <laughs>